Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Joann's haul for you guys and I went a little bit overboard. So this was the first time I had been to the Joann's that is closest to me now that I live in New York. Um, I haven't been to a Joann's since I moved and I wanted to go and I wanted to check it out because of the new die cuts with a view Halloween paper pads and because of the like Miss Sparkle and Co Halloween items that I've been seeing people grab um but it turns out that this Joann's has a lot more than <laughs> the Joann's ever had uh near my house in Nebraska so I kind of went a little crazy and yeah so I'm gonna show you what I got uh I'm gonna show you the paper last just because it's like under a bag of all this other stuff so I'll show you that last some of this is Halloween a lot of it's not <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab random stuff so I got some of the stuff that I got was on clearance and on sale and then Joann's had a uh 40 I think 40 or 50 percent off your entire regular price purchase so I got this ephemera pack it's called keepsakes and I'm pretty sure I don't have this one already I don't think I do I'm not gonna open it because some pieces are gonna go everywhere but that's what's in it. it has 95 pieces I feel like the Tim Holtz ephemera packs they're like they're a little pricey I think there's like eight dollars regular price or something like that but I feel like you get your money's worth you get so many pieces in here granted some of them are pretty tiny but like that's still like that's still like half an inch thick of ephemera so I'm fine with it this Joann's had so much good stuff. I found so much of the new Heidi Swap stuff, which my Joann's never got in, like, in Nebraska. My Joann's never got new stuff in, pretty much. And if they did, it took them, I am not joking, like, six months to get it in. <sighs> which was really frustrating because, I don't know, it just, it just was. Like, if I wanted something, I couldn't just go in and get it. But I found so many good things. Some Heidi Swap stuff. I am obsessed with Heidi Swap. Heidi Swap can do no wrong. And I just kind of, I went like on a frenzy. I don't know what happened to me in this Joann store, but I blacked out and I was throwing everything in my cart. And next thing I know, I was spending like a million dollars. But <laughs> anyway, I got these reinforcement stickers from Heidi Swap. I just thought that they were really pretty. <laughs> I have some and I could make some easily, but like they're Heidi Swap and they're really pretty and I got it for like 40% off because I coupon so I picked that up I also picked this and these I think these are from her new memory planner line I don't it's not like super new anymore but her newest one and then I got this 6x12 sheet of stickers which I believe go with the same collection and they're just like I th they're meant to be used in the planner but you can definitely not use them in the planner this side has some like larger stickers that you probably would end up wanting to use in a planner but I could definitely I got plenty of planners to use so I got that super cute I also got the matching ephemera pack which my Joann's before I don't think I ever found an ephemera pack for anything there and it, that's so sad to me I love ephemera so much and now that I'm looking at this there are some like acetate pieces in here that are like real thick acetate and that's super awesome so I think there's like the I don't know like smaller elements in there and there but look they're so gorgeous I think that my favorite part of this collection has got to be the tigers and the llamas I just I think throwing the tiger in here is just so fun as just an element of like a little surprise element and I think it's so cute so I got that I kind of wish I had gotten I don't know I get I can always go back and get more but so cute so cute I can't it's just so cute okay I also got these jars these apothecary vials from Tim Holtz and they're so teeny tiny but they come with labels 
that you can put on them, like sticker labels. They're already printed and sized down and everything, and I think that that's so perfect. Oh, I'm so excited to use these. I got them mostly because they are the like brown color, and I only have clear ones. I don't think I have the brown ones. I definitely don't have these ones. But then I looked and I saw that they have labels, and I was like, oh, bonus, definitely worth it. So I got that. I also got this. These are remnants layers and they're just like rectangular elements. They're not really like die cut elements. I mean, technically they are, but they're not shaped or anything. And there's, they're just like really thick cardstock. And I thought these were really neat. And there's a palmistry one in there. So obviously I had to get it. I just, that's super cool. And I don't think I have that one pretty darn certain I don't then I also got this that's another thing is this Joann's ugh, I'm gonna be raving about everything about this Joann's because it like blew my mind this Joann's had so much Tim Holtz stuff they had Tim Holtz stuff there that I've never been able to find in store at any other place so exciting like these um transparent wings super excited about these it doesn't show you on, on the back but they're just a mix of like fairy and insect and like butterfly wings. Some of them are just black outlines. Some of them are colored, but they're all acetate. So cool. And you have 72 pieces in here. That's crazy. So much. You see, like, see? <gasps> Gorgeous. I think I got one more Tim Holtz thing. I got these vignette bases, which the only reason I got them well, not the only reason, but the main reason I got them and didn't leave them behind is because I had that 40% um, off coupon. Otherwise, I would not have purchased these if I did not get them on a discount because it's $10 for just these two things. I think that's a little insane, but that being said, they are like cast, like cast metal. So they are heavy and weighted and I, I like that because I'm going to try to use these. I mean, they're gonna be used for what they're intended for. They're vignette bases and I bought those little vignette boxes and uh, I want to be able to, for the larger one at least, be able to stand it up but I don't want it to be able to like fall over easily. So I wanted to put it on a base and I like these because they're nice and weighted so I don't think it'll fall over easily but that's why I got it otherwise I really don't think I would have okay let's see here oh these are fun I got these foam pieces these were on clearance for $1.47 so I was like yeah sure why not they're cute and they're just foam robots they're fun I thought I could use them for things I don't know how many different styles are in here it looks like three or five I see five different colors in here red lime green blue teal and like a yellowy orange so I these were cute so I got them and they were on clearance let's see here I got these all the Halloween jewelry items were 40% off but that being said they are like ten dollars a pack which to me is kind of insane so I just got one, even though there were a ton that I really, really liked. I just got this one because it spoke to me the most. It's got two palmistry hands, a crystal ball, a little tarot deck, and just a tiny little star. So, super cute. Got those. Okay. So, the thing other than Tim Holtz that kind of made me go a little bit cuckoo crazy bananas was the fact that this Joann's and I don't know if this is a common thing in Joann's I know I've seen other people haul things like this from Joann's but I've never seen this at Joann's they had Maggie Holmes like full collections are you kidding me they had a full Maggie Holmes collections with all of the individual papers what are you what oh my god so I got a whole bunch of it <laughs> and uh, it's kind of crazy. So these are, I don't know what collection these are from. Not Flourish because all the Flourish, Sunny Days, all the Flourish was like super clearanced, like 75% clearanced or something like that. 
but this is the uh, 6 by 12 sticker thing from Maggie Holmes Sunny Days and I'm gonna say I think four dollars for this is a bit overpriced but I think it was on sale I'm pretty sure I think it was like 40% off or 50% off so it's okay so I got that and there are some like hollow foiling details I don't know if you can tell right there it's kind of like a darker hollow it's not really hollow it's like a black hollow I guess I yeah but I got that super cute I kind of want to go back and get more because especially these ephemera packs like what oh my gosh this I believe was also four dollars to me this I don't know there's 87 stickers on here and 40 ephemera pieces I mean I guess I guess but oh, these ephemera pieces so stinking gorgeous I I can't it's just too beautiful I don't even think that this shows you all of the pieces does it maybe it does maybe I'm tripping that doesn't look like 40 pieces but whatever it's gorgeous and I'm so happy that I found it I also got the sunny days um six by eight paper pad it has 24 sheets <laughs> gorgeous oh my god it's so beautiful can you see <sighs> it's so beautiful I can't I'm so excited I'm so excited I am probably whenever I'm like not broke from already buying all of these things probably gonna go get uh more <laughs> another thing that i found oh my gosh i'm just so excited i'm so excited i found so many good things oh my gosh they have crate paper has a new um what is it traveler's notebook line and oh my gosh they have two different themes one is like more girly and one is more i would say like maggie holmes-esque it's not Maggie Holmes, but girl, if that's not Maggie Holmes, I don't know what it is. It doesn't say Maggie Holmes on it, but it's basically, basically Maggie Holmes inspired Traveler's Notebook line. And then they like I said, there's like a more girly one that to me kind of looks more like uh, Heidi Swap inspired. This one was so gorgeous. It's so like fall and delicious and floral and... I didn't get one of the planners but because they were like $20 each but they do come with inserts so I think they're standard size I think but you know my butt is gonna go back there as soon as I got some more monies and I'm gonna get some because I just I can't I'm too excited so I got the ephemera pack that matches I also got the puppy stickers that match I wasn't like too crazy about the Heidi Swap inspired one but that might just be because compared to this one it's a little too plain for me so I got the puffy stickers there's also supposed to be a sticker book but they were sold out of the sticker book for this line so I didn't get to see what it looked like and the only reason I know there's supposed to be a sticker book is because the other line had one and then I saw that the same spot on the other side was gone but yeah that's that now we're gonna get into paper so I got the three collections, the three new, I think these are all new, die cuts with a view, um, Halloween mat stacks. Pretty sure they only had three collections for Halloween. I got all three of them. They were 40% off. So I'm like, I think I'm like completely set for <laughs> Halloween paper for like the next three years but I just I couldn't I couldn't pass it up it it's so I don't know, stop myself so beautiful I just can't can't control myself can't handle it I can't do it so do these have names I don't think these have names oh yeah happy Halloween is the name of it this one like I said I die did I say it I don't think I said it in this 
um, video, but another one of my hauls that should be up before this one, I mentioned that I love when they put teals in with traditional Halloween colors. So that alone just like blew my mind, completely snagged me. I'm going to be cutting these up. I don't really care about the background that much. Like it's it's simple orange polka dot, polka dot like it's fine, but I'm going to use these as cut as part. Cut apart. Oh my God, cannot speak. And this has hollow foiling, which is so gorgeous. Look at those hollow pumpkins. I just can't. And these cute little trick-or-treaters at the bottom. Too adorable. And then on the back, it has a bunch of boos that kind of look like the boos are like the O's or little eyeballs, which is pretty cool. I think it's cute. Some simple papers. Some eyeballs. Some candy corns. Oh, I love these. This page. This one right here. Is essentially the reason I bought this paper pad. I can't. It's too cute. I can't handle it. Some more hollow. There's a lot of hollow in here. I really like it. Some ghosts there. And then the stripes. And then that's it for that one. I also got the Ghost Stories mat stack. And this one also has hollow foil. I think they all have hollow. Which is fine by me. Oh, this one. Oh, this is so cool. So this one is essentially like all black and gray and white with hollow accents. Look how cool this page is back of it and then this one is like a whole like this one's like kind of like a soft hollow I guess but you can see and it's got bats all over it like oh, yes oh, I love this page so much this is really cool this makes me think of like Maggie Holmes on the dark side you know what I mean doesn't it like oh. I think that's super cool some hollow I don't know if you can tell the hollow in this stack is like a matte hollow almost it's like very muted hollow but it's really cool I love the page with the ravens in this one with the trees I really love this stack I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to because I didn't flip through it in the store um, I had just I just remembered seeing some other people haul it and that I really wanted to get it. I love this page so much. I love how dark and like creepy this this is. Oh, look at this hollow background with all these bats. These creepy skeletons. Yes. Some hollow skulls. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Again, this is kind of like a very matte hollow. You can like barely tell. You have to be at the right angle to see it, even in person. I like these squiggle ghosts. I think they're funny. So I got that one, and then I also got Witch's Brew. Oh. I think this one is so cool. I don't know. I just I'm in love with all of them. see the back of that one it's teal and then these hands that have like wands in them the cat with the hollow eyes I really love this paper I just love the color scheme of this I think it's so pretty the hollow leaves The like it's like little daisy constellations can you see so pretty and the little witches I love this one too love that so much and this page with the little yellow flowers like they're flowers these little tiny flowers this one just has a bunch of like Halloween related words constellation this has like every single sheet has hollow on it almost this one's really cool Sorry, like some of the pages are upside down because of how I'm flipping it, but I 
little hats. Hollow eyeballs. I love eyeballs. And then these two pages. Ugh. Not so much. So those are the three different collections. I kind of wish that, not kind of, I really wish that these had more than just the paper pads to the collection because I wish I had like die cuts and stickers and stuff because I would go even crazier. Okay, next up is 12 by 12 paper. I'm gonna go through the um, paper pads first and then the single papers. The single paper, all the single papers are Maggie Holmes. And then the 12 by 12 paper pads are die cuts with a view. So I did get the 12 by 12 um, paper pad of Happy Halloween. I believe the patterns are different. Yeah, the patterns are completely different. Yeah. So definitely had to get both. And these are... Oh, these are also double-sided. What? <gasps> the 12 by 12 stack is double-sided? What? Oh my gosh. So these cut apart. Sorry if it's a little close. You'll be able to see the back paper there. If it's like not kind of, if not, if it's not really plain, tongue-tied, then I will try to show you better. Like if it's a larger pattern, like you can see that pattern right there. So gorgeous. These are kind of like, they make me think of like white like rainbows that lost their color. This is really cool. Oh, these look at these spiders. They're so cute. They have they have bow ties on them. Do you see? <gasps> Little bow ties on the spiders. Yes, please. And then these like dancing skeletons. I really like this page with the little cat heads. Love it. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's that's it right there. That is why I needed this whole paper stack was for that piece of paper. Some hollow. So some of the patterns in here are the same. Like I'm pretty sure that one is in this. I'm pretty sure. Is it not? Oh, it's a different color. Okay. It's not orange, it's like a teal. Some more card parts. These are like three by fours. Some little tiny spiders. Some hollow spider webs. This sheet right here. I wish I had like five of these because I want to cut the houses apart. But I also like the back. I like the background color. Or pattern, I mean. Decisions, decisions. Look at these. <gasps> Look at the. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's like the only descriptive word I know apparently is cute. I really like this one too. I'm probably going to cut these apart. Oh, those little mummies. So that is the Happy Halloween 12 by 12 paper pad. Oh, I'm shaking you guys. And then I also got the Witch's Brew paper pad. I did, oh no, 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 no. I did not get the 12 by 12 paper pad for ghost stories um unfortunately I'm on a budget you know although I mean I feel like with the amount of Halloween stuff I've been buying I feel like that might be questionable but I am I am on a budget so I couldn't get everything but I feel like I'm gonna end up going back and getting it because the patterns are all different which I didn't realize. I thought that the patterns were going to be the same, but just bigger, like they are with most 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 paper pads. Now that I realize that they're completely different patterns, I need the 12 by 12. Like they're different. So I feel like it's super justified. That pattern. They have the hands with the wands again, but it's a different color. Sometimes when the patterns are the same, the colors are different. Oh, I love this. These are so cool. I love when cats are in Halloween. Think, oh my gosh. This is so cool. 
Um, the background is okay. It's nice. I would use it, but I'm not obsessed with it. So I'm probably going to use both of these sheets and cut them apart because I'm obsessed with this side. Oh, this side too. These are gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, this floral. I cannot wait to start using these. I'm so excited. Look at the moths. These are so cool. I really like this side right here. I'm usually not a huge fan of purple in Halloween stuff, to be honest. It really depends on the shade of purple. I'm super picky about, like, purple in general. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> These are spaced far enough apart that if you were feeling, like ambitious you could fussy cut all of these elements out Ooh, maybe I'll do that one day I don't know that's gonna take a lot of time we'll see <laughs> so hollow gem page love it some writing these are like skulls and bones and like crossbones little teeny tiny oh I love this I love this this is really cool oops well wow, skipping everything so I really, I prefer the teal version of this one that was kind of like, I'm not going to flip all the way back there. That was white. That was on the back of the cut apart one. Love it. Oh my gosh. Constellations, anything, space, star, celestial theme is my jam. Mix it with Halloween and got a perfect, perfect, perfect piece of paper. Oh my goodness. What? This is incredible. I'm oh my gosh so incredible I can't I can't even I really like these like dying plants over here gorgeous <laughs> only at Halloween do we say dying plants are gorgeous more cut aparts I wish I could get these like single sheets because I would get doubles like or extras I mean of the sheets that I love the most like huh oh, I wish Kinda this page is really neat this is super cool i love eyeballs i'm super into eyeballs i feel like this page is a little random because it's the only one that's realistic but i mean i guess it goes these florals look real. so those are all the halloween papers that i got i am gonna go ahead and show you all of the maggie holmes single sheet papers <laughs> that i got but be warned she's thick so if you don't want to see all of the Maggie Holmes papers that I got, I completely understand. But if you're still here and you're interested, um, let's go through them. So I'm not going to go through and tell you every single name of every single sheet, but I'll tell you the collection they're from. They're only from two collections. So Sunny Days, I got doubles of some of them, but not all of them. So I got doubles of this one. Like, yes, these butterflies are very pretty. But I got it for this side to cut these out because I, I sh now that I think about it, I should have gotten like four of these because I do really like the butterfly sheet and I would like to use it. But I did want extras of these to cut apart, which I, I didn't really think that through super well. But I got doubles of that. I got this one, like this side is nice and I do really love the color, but I think it's super, super cute. I only got one of those, I'm pretty sure. And I think I only got one of these two. The other side is, you know, it's okay. I could use it, I would use it, I like it, but got it for this one. And then this sheet, I only got one of, because I do like both sides, but I'm not like obsessed with either one of them so whichever one I end up using I'd be okay with sacrificing the other side I also only got one of this one same situation like I wanted mo like uh, patterns that I'm not obsessed with I'm okay with still buying because I know I'll use them and I know that they'll add to whatever I'm creating with the collection so I like to think of them as like support pieces <laughs> so I only got one of those because like I like both sides but I'm, I like this one a little bit more but I'm okay with sacrificing either side depending on what I'm doing. I got two sheets of this 
The back, I'm not a super huge fan of, but the cut aparts. I will be cutting them apart. No, they're gorgeous. So I got two of those. I got one of this one. Uh, so these are all from Sunny Days so far. I really, really like this page. I wish I had gotten a second one because I would like to use this as like a full 12 by 12. But then I also really like this side. So I should have gotten two of this one. I was not thinking, like I said, I was just like, I was in a frenzy. I got one of this one. This side is nice, but I'm not crazy about it. I really got it for this side. This one I got two of. Again, it's nice, but I'm not crazy about it. But I really love the cut aparts. So I got two of those. Now, all of the rest of this is flourish and Joann's had flourish on clearance so these papers were I think that these these ended up coming out the ones from sunny days ended up coming out to 49 cents regular price 99 cents because I think that it was 50% off and then all of the papers from flourish that I got were on clearance for 25 cents so some of these are a little mixed up, but I think I only got one of this one, I think. Or I might have gone back and gotten doubles. Oh yeah, I did. I got two. Because they were only 25 cents, I figured I might as well. So I got two of that one. I really got it for this lemon side because it's so pretty. I got two of this one. And then that's the back. I like this color, but I'm not like super crazy about it being like the only color, but I really got it for this one. And then this, I got two of these peacock ones, essentially for the peacock side, but the other side does have like a white brick on it, which I don't know if I'll end up using, but the peacocks, yes, yes, peacocks. I got, I think I got three, no, I got two of this one, is that it? Oh, oh look at that, I got three of this one. Yes, I really love that one. <laughs> I think I only got two of this one. The back is a wood grain, like it's nice, but I'm going to use these to cut them apart because I think these pages are perfect for ephemera. I feel like when you get a 12 by 12 that's got cut apart elements and you create ephemera out of them, it's like, yeah, you have to put in the work to create them, but like to cut them out, but it's like cheap alternative to buying ephemera packs <laughs> or like to supplement your ephemera packs. I am not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I only got one of these. This, again, I bought as, like, a support piece because I'm not head over heels for either one of these patterns, but they're nice, and I'll use them, and they'll add to the collection for me. This one, I'm pretty dang sure I got two of this one. I better have because I really love this. If I didn't, then I'm going to be really sad. Starting to think that I didn't. Uh, why would I not do that? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, whew. oh my goodness. So two of these. I really don't like the back at, like at all. I got it for this. And I'll probably end up cutting these out. Maybe. That's in my mind. Like, I think so, but we'll see. Again, two of these. I really should have gotten more of these because I do like the other side. I think it's really cool. It's like a color by numbers with swans, but I really got it for this. Look at the bunny. So cute. It even says so cute because it is so cute. Oh my goodness. Got it for the cut aparts, really. And honestly, I'll probably just end up cutting all of them apart and then the back will just have like a cool little snippet of that pattern. I got, I know I got more than. I got three of this one. The back 
don't really care about the back too much. I got it for the houses because these houses are nicely spaced apart and I'm going to cut them to use them as ephemera. And I got a lot of houses. I, there's, I don't know what it is about houses, especially like this style of illustration that I'm kind of obsessed with. Oh, oh, I got more. Did I get two? Oh no, I got one more. See, I don't even know what I got. I'm just like going crazy here. I got a third one. So if I wanted to use this as a 12 by 12, I could. Probably won't. Probably just gonna <laughs> do some more cut aparts, but you know, if I wanted to, I could. Pretty sure I only got one page of this. I really should have gotten more because I like both sides. I really, really love this side. I should have gotten another one. I don't know. There's always next time. There's always next time, you know? But these were on clearance. So what am I going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. I... Some of these I only got one of, I guess. Some of them I know why. But this one, I do actually really like both sides, but I really got it for the floral. So the hummingbirds. I'm going to have to, like, convince my husband to go back with me so I can get more of these papers. Because... I can't have them selling out on me. That just can't happen. I only got one of this. Got it really for the floral, but yeah. Eh, I really don't like this um, camera side very much at all as a whole sheet. I think if I cut them up into like ephemera elements, then I'd like them better. But as a whole sheet, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, and this butterfly sheet it's I don't know I'm torn on it I think it's kind of cool but at the same time like it's blurry and I think that that's probably on purpose to give it more of like a vintage -y vibe to fit with the collection but I don't like it it's kind of hurting my eyes a little bit the fact that it's blurry and I think that I'm not a fan. I think I'm not a fan. So I really got this page, like I said, as kind of a support piece, but I I didn't realize this was blurry, so I probably won't be using this side. I'll probably cut this up as elements. And then the last sheet I got is this one. Again, another support page, but I do like both sides, so very nice. I am uh, kind of obsessed uh, probably in an unhealthy way, because I went a little crazy, but, you know, I got a lot of stuff that I was looking for. I was looking for all of these paper pads, and they had all of them there, so I'm very excited, but that's it. That's my Joanne's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!